Adding fractions is simple when the fractions have a common denominator. That means that the number on the bottom of the fraction is the same. So in this case, if I have a over b plus c over b, I can see that these have the same denominator, a common denominator of b. And so what I do to add these two fractions together is I simply add the two numerators together. So I'll have a plus c in my numerator, and I keep the denominator the same. a plus c over b is going to be my answer. The sum of these two fractions is the sum of their numerator over the common denominator. Let's look at an example using actual numbers. So if I have, for example, 1 fifth plus 3 fifths, I look here and I see that they both have a common denominator of 5. So I simply add together their numerators, 1 plus 3, and, I keep, and then I keep my denominator 5, and I do the work up here, 1 plus 3 equals 4, so my numerator is 4, and my denominator stays here as the common denominator of 5. And the answer to 1 fifth plus 3 fifths is 4 fifths. Now I have to be careful that if I have two fractions that have the same numerator, but different denominators, I can't add them together the same way. So if I have, for example, 3 eighths plus 3 sevenths, I can't do what I just did here of adding together um, the denominators and leaving the numerator the same. This only works when the denominator is the same, only for common denominators. So we're not going to look at this one right here with different denominators right now. We're just going to concentrate on fractions that have the same denominator. There are no limits to the number of fractions that I can add together as long as they have the same denominator using this method. So even for example, if I had 1 twelfth plus 7 twelfths plus 3 twelfths plus 11 twelfths plus 4 twelfths plus 15 twelfths, I can take all of these fractions and I can see that they all have the same denominator of 12. So all I have to do to solve this problem is add together the numerators. 1 plus 7 plus 3 plus 11 plus 4 plus 15 it equals 41. And I leave my denominator the same. I leave it 12. And my answer to this big long fraction problem is 41 twelfths.